Wrestling fans, NWA Smoky Mountain TV is on the air, and I'm your host, Matt Rhodes, not joined this week by Heath Sneed. And no, wrestling fans, I did not sabotage Heath Sneed appearing on this program today, given the events that happened last week. I am not that kind of person. In fact, I, along with the rest of the NWA board of directors, have sent Heath Sneed to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to handle some big business, to sign some contracts on some huge matches that are going to take place at our return to the King Sports Civic Auditorium. That date originally was scheduled for Saturday night, August the 6th, and wrestling fans, huge announcement to pass along to you. That date has been changed. We'll be coming back to the Civic Auditorium the same week, but we're pushing it back two days to Thursday, August the 4th, in double WA Smoky Mountain presents the big one. And it definitely will be the big one. One of the biggest events to come to the Mountain Empire in a long time when we announce the two huge main event matches that have already been signed for this event. We're going to see Jason the Gift Kincaid, the man from Oak Hill, West Virginia, one of the best stars in the world of wrestling today, to take on an up and coming star. In the eyes of Ring of Honor wrestling fans, if you watch Ring of Honor, if you've heard of Ring of Honor, you know the man I'm getting ready to mention right now. Kyle O'Reilly will be taking on Jason the Gift Kincaid. I've seen many matches of Jason's. I've seen some of Kyle O'Reilly's matches. This match here, wrestling fans, will be worth the price of admission alone. And that's not the main event for Thursday night, August the 4th. We're going to see Chase Owens, the real deal, the man from Bristol, Virginia, the most decorated amateur wrestler in the state of Virginia. He's going to be in town to take on Ring of Honor heavyweight champion Davey Richards, the man entitled by many people the best in the world. Each time Davey Richards comes to the ring, the fans chant the best in the world. Is he indeed the best in the world? He's the Ring of Honor champion, but he's going to be defending that title against Chase Owens. And yes, this is huge news concerning our August return to the Civic Auditorium. Chase Owens, Davey Richards. Last week, we never would have thought this match would happen. But as of right now, things change in an instant in the wrestling world. And right now, this huge main event coming to you on Saturday night, August the 4th, Chase Owens. Versus Davey Richards with the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship on the line. Wrestling fans, that will be huge. It's already been a huge day on NWA Smoky Mountain TV with the announcement of Kyle O'Reilly and Davey Richards from Ring of Honor coming into town on Thursday night, August the 4th. That's why you need to mark your calendars right now for that huge event at the King Sports Civic Auditorium. Now, this past Sunday on the SSW Power Half Hour, as seen on the Tri-City CW4, you've seen a very disgusting thing happen. Something happened to myself, to my good friend Brandon Cox, and also my good friend Jeff Baker. We come to the ring. Misty James was out there spatting her mouth off about her match with Lady X at WrestleFest. Well, I made my way to the ring. Going to have a conversation with Misty. But Misty had another thing in mind. She wanted to challenge us, the Illuminati, to a wrestling match. And right now we're going to show you, as I said earlier, the disgusting footage of what happened this past Sunday on the Southern States Wrestling's Power Half Hour. Rock, paper, scissors, come on. Is... Well, looks like referee Brandon Cox, he just got the, uh... well, how about that? Kicked him right in the head, and this is great. I think this is wonderful. Misty James going to town. Yeah, that's good. She's taking over Matt Rose. This is great. Maybe he'll shut his big mouth up. Uh oh, wait a minute now. Misty James 
she's in trouble. Brandon Cox has uh, got her. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, my goodness. Just plastered him in a big clothesline. Big clothesline on Matt Rose. There goes Jeff Baker. He, she ducks the clothesline on him, goes through his legs, and uh, she says, hey, getting out of the ring there. That's, that's great. Misty James dodged a bullet there. Brandon Cox, Matt Rose, they look a little worse for wear. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Misty James, the Illuminati, Tony Givens, Chris Richards. Here's Rob Knight. Uh, the whole gang is here, wrestling fans. And there's not one soul out here to help, to, to help Misty James at all to stop him. It's like a, a pack of wolves on an, a, 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 oh, my goodness. You've got a wounded animal in Misty James, and the, the pack of wild dogs are just, they're looming in on her. Look at this, they're laughing at him. Misty James, she's in trouble. She's in trouble, and there's not one soul here that's gonna help. Which, oh, wait a minute, here comes Bo Jameson, and he's got the, he's got the taser, he's got the ball bat, and he says, hey, I'm fixing to light up the sky right here in the Mountain Empire. Holy cow, fans, how about that? The Illuminati, they're getting the heck out of Dodge. Bo James got that ball bat, he's chasing him around. You've got Brandon Cox here who's got the bull whip that was given, that was given to him. Given to Bo James by Dutch Man Talent. Here goes the Illuminati back in the dressing room. How about that? The king and queen regain the throne here on the power half hour. Bo and Misty James. How about that? Let me get some words from them. I told you they're nothing but yellow egg sucking dogs, and I just proved it. I want to tell you something. July 17th is my birthday, and I'm going to celebrate it by hitting a home run with that melon on top of Tony Givens' shoulders. Now, my friend Dutch Mantel's got something to say. 17th of July, we're not playing around. We're coming to get even. All right. Let's hear from Dutch Mantel right now. Well, you put it any way you want to, but my name is Dutch Mantel, and I know what they've done because I kept track of it. They're a bunch of low lines. Egg sucking yellow thieving dog. And baby, I believe they're gonna fall one by one like dominoes, Jack. And baby, I'm here. And when Dutch Mantel shows up, some bad things happen to some bad people. Call me a winner now, or call me a winner later, later, baby, because that's exactly what I am. Because when I come to get the job done, I get it done, I get it done. Check this out. Or do a dance I learned in Texas called the Texas Waltz. The only sad thing about it is I'm going to use your face for the floor. Let's go, Jack. Well, there you see the disgusting footage of Misty James jumping this man and myself back on the power half hour from this past Sunday. She challenged us to a fight, Brandon, but then she jumped us. That's right, Matt Rhodes. Misty James, you're nothing but a cheater. You jumped me at the bell. You jumped me as soon as I walked in the ropes. Misty, if it was a fair fight, you know you will never be able to take me. But speaking of cheaters, Matt Rhodes, Bo James, I still have your whip. I'm still waiting on you to come find me and punch me or do whatever you said you'd want to do to me. I heard Dutch Mantel's coming. He wants to get the whip back. Sorry, Dutch. You will not get the whip back and because it's staying right here with Illuminati and the best in the whole reffing world. And Misty James, you want to jump me coming through the ring rope? So let me tell you something. I'm the executive producer and host of this program. I am well respected in my field as an announcer. You, the next time you lay your hands on me, I will sue you for everything you got, which isn't much, including down to your wrestling boots and your cowboy hat. So don't mess with me, all right? And now at this time, Tony the Dragon Givens will make his way in. And we've seen Bo James out here on the Power Half Hour this past Sunday with a baseball bat and a taser. You know, I've came on this television program for the past month. And you know what, Matt? 
Maybe I've been wrong. Maybe, Bo James, you are still the low-down, dirty dog that you've always been. Bo James, you brought up that taser, you brought up that baseball bat, I realized something. I've awakened something that was sleeping. I've came out here and I've said you were soft. Maybe I've been wrong. Maybe the Bo James that's coming to WrestleFest July 17th isn't what I thought. Well, you know what? I don't care. Because I'm ready for a fight. You know who else is ready for a fight? Chris Richards is ready for a fight. And you know what? I'll give a devil his due. I've watched Dutch Mantel for many years, and I know good and well Dutch Mantel's ready for a fight. And Dutch, you didn't listen to our warning. I've seen you on television, so now I know you're here. I know that you're coming. Bo James, Dutch Mantel, I don't expect anything less than a fight now. And you guys shouldn't either. Because as dirty as Dutch Mantel is, how dirty do you think six foot seven, three hundred twenty-five pound of Tennessee redneck is? And when he takes Dutch Mantell out, Bo James, it's going to be me and you. When all the smoke is cleared and all the dust is settled, I'll be looking at you across that ring, Bo James, and I want you to look at me, knowing that I'm the man that kicked your wife in the head, and you couldn't do anything about it. Well, you can do something about it now. If you want me to shut up, Bo James, you shut me up. July 17th, it's going to be the birthday that you will never forget, Bo James. It's going to start out at 6.30 with that gigantic birthday party they're having for all the VIP guests. And it's going to end after the main event with you being carted off to Holston Valley Hospital in the emergency room, sucking potatoes through a straw after I kick you in the head, just like I did your wife, and put you out of your misery for good. Tony, as you know, last week, he Sneed was out here spouting his mouth off saying that the NWA board of directors had a surprise for us this week here on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. And I just got off the phone with a couple of my sources, and I have found out what that surprise is. It looks like Robbie Cassidy is going to lace the boots up one more time, which I noted would happen down the road at some point. But he's going to come back August the 4th, Thursday night, the big one. King Sports Civic Auditorium, we know that's going to be a huge event as it is. But Robbie Cassidy has challenged the Illuminati to a six-man tag. He says he's got Bo James as his tag partner, and the third man, ironically, is a mystery. Your thoughts? I asked you before, Robbie. When's it going to end? How long before you get hurt permanently? How long before you can't walk? You see, Robbie Cassidy, like I said, I may not have a heart anymore, but the little bit of shred of compassion I have in my life is for you. Robbie, I don't want you to get hurt. That's why I put you down. I wanted to send a message to you, Robbie Cassidy. Get out. Get out of the sport. Leave it alone. That back cannot stand the beating it takes to be a professional wrestler. I know that that's all you've done your entire adult life, and that's all you know how to do. Robbie, don't make the mistake. Don't make me hurt you. Don't make me paralyze you, Robbie. You and Bo James are making a mistake. You're bringing the mystery partner? Who is it? I don't care. You see, me and Chris Richards... We've got a new member of the Illuminati, and we've been, just been waiting for the time to bring this man out or bring this man back. 
and it sounds like this would be the perfect opportunity to do so. I don't know who you guys got as your third man. That's a mystery, but it's no mystery because we have went back into our past and we have found a suitable partner. That man is former tag team champion multiple times with Chris Richards. That man is one of the greatest wrestlers of our time in this area. I'm talking about the returning cutthroat Josh Cody. Hasn't been in the ring in a long, long time. He's coming back. He's going to stand beside, our, beside us in the Illuminati, and he's coming with us Thursday, August 4th. Take you guys out for good.